Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream and get us out. Dream, 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 dream. Hit the hay, fast asleep, dream a dream, you little bleed. Dream, 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 dream. Oh my god, I love it. Yes. what's going on so today we are watching a very 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 exciting movie to me we are watching we can be heroes which is a new movie that just came out this month on netflix and it is pretty much the official sequel to the iconic 2005 movie shark boy and lava girl i grew up from a very young age, pretty much when Sharkboy and Lava, Lava Girl just came out in 2005, I grew up watching it. I watched it a million times, uh, I was like four when it came out, and I watched it ev all the time, literally all the time. I know Sharkboy and Lava Girl front to back, it's a very nostalgic movie to me, so I've been waiting for this uh, sequel or this movie set in the same world as Sharkboy and Lava Girl for 16 years. I have been waiting. But then here's the thing, y'all. Here's the thing. They released like a promotion some promotional images from the movie like back in I don't know the fall the fall time. I don't remember exactly when it was, but like of the movie and they showed an image of shark of adult shark boy and lava girl and I was so happy to see Lava Girl. I do not know the actress's name. She looked great all up in the Lava Girl getup. But there was something a little off about Shark Boy he did not look like Taylor Lautner. It did not look like Taylor Lautner under the mask. And I, I was so angry. I was like, hold on a minute. You're telling me that 16 years later, y'all are making a movie set in the same world as Shark Boy and Love Girl, and you couldn't even get the most iconic part, Shark Boy? Like, I just want to know what was the issue. Was it that was it something on Taylor Lautner's end? Did he not want to do the movie? Were his agents, um, like wanting too much money and Robert Rodriguez and these people would not give as much money as they wanted to give or was it something weird on the movie's end where they didn't want Taylor Lautner for some reason? I don't know the history as to why this isn't Taylor Lautner and also I could be wrong maybe they were trying to fool people with that promotional image into thinking that Taylor Lautner wasn't going to be here, but then whenever everyone went to watch the movie, all of a sudden, boom, Taylor Lautner. Maybe. But I feel like if that was the case, I would have seen, like, Twitter freaking out about seeing Taylor Lautner in the movie. Like, th there's been no discourse over this movie online, and I think it's just because there was no Taylor Lautner in it. So there was nothing much to talk about, but I have been waiting. I've been waiting 16 years. I'm still so excited to see the movie. I'm just excited to sh see Sharkboy and Lava Girl. I'm curious to see if the scene with them in it, if it's gonna just be one scene, like a little cameo, since it is primarily, I think, about like their kid amongst some other superhero type kids or whatever, or if we're actually gonna have a good amount of scenes with them. I don't know, because if so, how is this guy who's playing Sharkboy gonna emulate Taylor Lautner as Sharkboy. No one can do the dream 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 song like Taylor Lautner can. Like yeah he wouldn't be performing that song as an adult but like still. But like just look at this y'all. Look at this. They're on the little cover for it right here on Netflix. Either they're doing that to entice viewers to click or they're in a significant portion of the movie and no, for some reason, I just haven't seen any discourse about it. Maybe Taylor Lautner is in this, and no one has spoken about it, but I don't- that doesn't look like Taylor Lautner there. It looks like some guy who kind of looks like Taylor Lautner, but is not Taylor Lautner. So I don't know. The Shark Boy and Lava Girl is really special to me, y'all, so I'm hoping that this movie's good. I'm hoping that- it's- it's Robert Rodriguez, right, who directed this as well? Let me see. It's not gonna tell me right here on the cover. Okay, fine. I have to look it up on my phone. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. I am like 99% sure that it is Robert Rodriguez that directed this movie. He was the one who directed the original Sharkboy and Lava Girl, and he also did the Spy Kids movies. Or at least he, I, did, I know he did the first Spy Kids movie. I assumed he did all of them. Yes, he is a Texas filmmaker from Texas. Fun fact. There's a handful of scenes in the Shark, not Shark Boy, in the Spy Kids movies that were filmed here in Texas. Um, in the third movie, 
that one of the opening scenes of Spy Kids 3 Game Over is at like an abandoned or what looks like an abandoned water park. Uh, it was with Junie Cortez. He's like in a water park for some reason and it's all dramatic. I don't really remember why. And that is Schlitterbahn, which is in uh, New Brothels. I know where that is. Um, I go to Schlitterbahn. I've gone to Schlitterbahn a bunch. So it's kind of iconic. Uh, five-year-old me seeing Schlitterbahn in a movie. But anyways, I digress. Yes, Robert Rodriguez did direct this movie. Let's just get right into it, y'all. I'm so curious of what this movie's gonna be. I know Pedro Pascal is in it. I'm a big fan of Pedro Pascal, Mandalorian, Game of Thrones. Y he's iconic. Um, and then, you know, I'm excited to see Lava Girl, and I'm excited to see what this guy does as shark boy and and hope, you never know maybe taylor Lautner will pop up i'm excited i really hope this has the feel of like a robert rodriguez movie from the early 2000s like a shark boy lava girl a spy kids i wanted to have that same feel to it i'm really hoping it doesn't just be bad please please be good the heroics the heroics team of superheroes oh there's a team of them Ooh, who's this supposed to be is his name Heroics? He has a big H on him. <laughs> he looks so weird. He's in a jet. They're so weird. They're flying. Is that? That's. That's. What's his name? Christian something. Christian, not Bale. Not Kristen Wig. Christian. I can't remember. It's the guy from Heather's. It's the guy from Heathers. It's gonna bother me. I'm looking it up. Okay. Um, I, you know, I feel like I remember seeing that he was in this movie, but I totally forgot until now. <laughs> Christian, Christian, Christian Slater. Christian Slater. That's it. That's it. All right. So this is like this world's equivalent of Superman. His name, is his name Heroic Man? <laughs> Hero Man? A spaceship of some kind. Oh, wow. Just blasted some kind of energy ray at me. <laughs> this is so weird okay is it just me or is this kind of starting like we're already supposed to know who these characters are like it's 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 acting kind of like an avengers movie where it's like we're just jumping in and i'm supposed to know who these people are he's like he's like do they not know who i am and i'm here like i don't know who you are <laughs> yeah they're not gonna know who you are because i don't even know who you are yet i was expecting a little bit of like exposition like introducing the superheroes maybe that's gonna come in a second but like we're just jumping right in as if this is like a sequel to something besides shark boy and lava girl when it's like these characters were in shark boy and lava girl so how am i supposed to know them oh no your feels running out just a quick <sighs> selfie for my socials while i stop this thing okay oh there's a whole armada out there yeah, um, that is not good. If I were you, Jetpack Man, I would get out of there. I would, I would land somewhere safely. I mean, this is techno. techno. His name's Techno. Why are you using more of your fuel? You're just gonna stress me out. Oh, great! Now he's falling, so he can't fly. You're running out of fuel, so you can't fly. Neither of you are able to fly right now. You're getting close. This someone else has to come in and catch you now. Do you have a parachute? I feel like anyone who's using a jet pack should have a uh, parachute on them just in case. Others would rise. Oh. So is this like Robert Rodriguez's plan to like start some his own like superhero franchise world? <gasps> There's Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I mean, look at me. I'm actually putting real thought into what I'm gonna wear. We're going full on with this commentary. This one says, talk to me. Oh, this is so, I have not watched a movie like this in a while. Good morning, dad. She has a, a what? Oh, hey, Pedro Pascal. <laughs> she had like a little watch, that was cool. Yeah, this is like a full on kids movie, I forgot. I don't know. It's like, this is reminding me of kind of like the dis the decom, like Disney Channel original movies of today where it's like they're, I don't know. It's weird because it's like, I don't know if it's just I've grown up so now they all seem weird and childish to me or if they've genuinely gotten worse over time. Because like, think about it, like High School Musical, Lemonade Mouth, stuff like that, like from whenever I was watching Disney Channel eight to ten years ago and stuff like that. There was not like, stuff like that where like she's narrating the whole thing and then she's going in front of the thing being like this did it i i don't know i can't explain it maybe there was there was some stuff like that but then there was a lot of really good stuff along with it and i feel like 
This is reminding me of the recent DCOM that came out that was like the live action version of Kim Possible. She reminds me of that girl for some reason. And just between this and that Kim Possible movie, which I watched like a year ago, um, I'm just like, oh god, is this the tone we're having? Why can't we have like a tone of Spy Kids or Shark Boy and Lava Girl where like they're kids' movies? I watched them at the age of four. But they weren't like this. They weren't like cringy. They were like, they were campy, but they weren't like full on narration weird like that. Maybe this, it's only been like 30 seconds, so it may go away. Just, I don't know. I just had to kind of rant about that for a second about how the, the, the fall of kids movies and how weird they've gotten it's like and we can't me and like I feel like a lot of people online we can't tell if we've gotten older or if they just have genuinely gotten worse like they're running out of ideas and they're making them all weird like this where I don't know I don't know let's continue I love how almost almost everything I've seen Pedro Pascal in he's a father Wonder Woman 1984 this Mandalorian only thing is Game of Thrones he's not a, I don't think he's a father in that yeah not today. Oh my god, they have a pool in their backyard. That was a nice pool. Is that Miracle Guy? Miracle Guy. That's his name. So this is just a world where everyone is very aware of superheroes. Rejoining the team. Rejoining? So he's a former superhero. Okay. I'm already in my head. I'm like, all right, when are we seeing Sharkboy and Lava Girl? I, I need them now. <laughs> Also, another thing that I'm really curious of that maybe they'll go into this in the movie, but also I, I don't know if they will, the other kid in Sharkboy and Lava Girl, I'm blanking on his name, but the blonde kid, where is he? Did he keep up a friendship with Sharkboy and Lava Girl? And if so, will we see adult version of him? If not, and he didn't keep up the friendship, why? What is he doing with his life? I want to know, because he's just a regular human. I don't know. Curious. Maybe we'll find out. Oh yeah, she's in this. Lightning fast and crushing low. That superhero's name is Lightning Fast. That's a really not well thought out name. Shark Boy Lava Girl. Okay, here we are. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yes. They still married? Yes. Oh, that is not good. That's a lot of little red dots. Which hero should we send, ma'am? Shark Boy, Lava Girl, and everyone else. All of them. Yeah, there you go. All of them. Bring them all out. This will be more entertaining, anyways. So what's Pedro Pascal's like superpower? He seems pretty ordinary. Maybe it's something he can easily hide, unlike Lava Girl where it's like she has flaming hair. Oh my god. That's his power. So, telekinesis? Or is that like Thor's hammer where he can summon his samurai swords to him? I don't know if those are samurai swords. Some sort of swords. Katana? I don't know. I don't have magnet hands. Magnet hands. Oh, did they say that because her dad has magnet hands? That's what I was thinking. Maybe he could attract it because it was metal? Maybe? Marcus Moreno's kid. I know. It's weird. Maybe you just haven't, like, fully realized your powers yet. Like, maybe some people have to, like, grow into them, you know? You will be staying in our underground stronghold, where the children of superheroes are kept safe while their parents... Oh, wow. That's a really good system. I'm different from all of them. Oh, so the other kids are all gonna have powers? That's so exciting. So what is Shark Boy and Lava Girl's parent or kid gonna be? Like what's what's her power gonna be? Exceptional behavior. Well done. <laughs> They're all was so they were so just faking it, like while they opened the door, they were all really just like goofing off or whatever. She's gone. He's like Elastigirl, but with his neck. Can the rest of his body, like, do that? <laughs> or just his neck? Well, what's the point of doing that with all your papers? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! Ooh! I love this. That was the music from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh my god, that was the music. Oh, that, oh my god. And then this, this girl, okay, that's the daughter, so she has... Wa floaty water powers so that's kind of along the lines of shark boy kind of even though i don't he couldn't do anything with water but then lava girl could do stuff with fire so it's like she did get a mixture it's like the non-heat aspect of shark boy but then the more being able to control an element like lava girl 
I loved how they brought back that theme from Shark Boy and Lava Girl whenever introducing the kid. That was great. I loved that callback. Also, this is the girl from from Bird Box. Girl. Uh, she was one of my favorite parts of Bird Box uh, whenever that came out a couple years ago. So I'm very excited to see her in another movie. This is exciting. I loved that callback. I hope they continue to do more stuff where they call it back to that original movie. Because that's what we're all here for. Literally, I can get kids watching like parents having kids watch the, this movie now because you know it's a new kids movie but anyone over the age of like 16 or 15 we're watching this movie because it's the shark boy and lava girl sequel that's what we're doing i'm i'm watching this for my shark boy and lava girl nostalgia and so i better get callbacks i'm sorry so that was i loved that i'm wheels yes wheels? they call me that on account of the wheelchair it's a little on the nose but i like it because it's cool <laughs> because it's cool my muscles are so strong that my bones can't support them. Well, lucky for me. Really? My brain's the same way. It's supercharged. How does that work? Don't speak. I know just what you're saying. Okay. I can go. Oh my god. I can go. Oh my I can god. Even go? Really? I don't. So high that they can't hear it? Such interesting powers. I, I commend this. They are coming up with some really wacky powers here. Like, muscles so strong or whatever that the bones can't support them. And then, like, noodle neck, where it's just so far his neck. Someone who can draw so well, but then also only speaks to the drawings. But also the drawings, th those are, like, pretty good drawings. I don't see any, like, oh my god, virtuoso, that was the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. It was good. She's a really good little artist, but like, I don't know, she maybe has some work to do. Um, and then the singing thing, that's an interesting one. So I, I like how all these powers are like, interesting. They're, they're like different. They're not like the basic type of powers, you know? So basically through her singing powers, she also has like telekinesis somewhat. I don't know if she can really control it too much though. Like which objects float where. Oh, so he goes really slow. He's actually moving very fast. Oh. His powers have him stuck in a time warp. What? Hi. What? Oh my god. Oh. Wow. I can't compete with that. That's so creepy. Oh, okay, he can do more than just his neck. He made his hand like grow. Guppy. Guppy. How are you making that? My mommy is lava girl, but my daddy is shark boy. So instead of lava, I move water. Yeah, see, I ca I nailed nailed that. Nailed the combination of the powers. That is so cute. Her name is Guppy. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, she's so creative. She's so cute. Shark boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's not Taylor Lautner. Why couldn't they get Taylor Lautner? Lava girl blasted up from inside an active volcano. Amazing. Oh my god. Okay, so we're getting a really good amount of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, it looks like. This is so exciting. So you're telling me, out of like the whole world, this is all the superheroes they have? Or is this just like, just the city's superheroes? Because if there's others in the world, recruit them too. Bring them down. You okay, Shark Boy? Oh my god. That is some really good news coverage footage. Oh my god. There we go. Progress via singing. Great. There we go. <laughs> Done for. Yeah, um... I don't- that's not possible to get all of them. Or is it? Does he have some, like, incredible power? How did he think he would win that? <laughs> How did he think he would even try? See if he could come back to the headquarters, regroup, figure something out to save the other supers, but no, he just he just left them with no superheroes. He could have come back and figured something out, you know, maybe trained the kids? I don't know. Done something. Found more superheroes? Or else Earth will be destroyed. You have three hours. Three hours? I'm afraid that was the entire message. Oh my god, I thought it would be like maybe, I don't know, 48 hours, 24 hours, but three? That is not a lot of time to prepare for what they're gonna do. And they're coming for us next. How do the aliens know? What gave them any hint that the aliens know where they are? Oh! 
Oh, I knew it. She can tell the future. Also drew these alien creatures breaking into this very- Oh, smart. They're really just letting it happen? <gasps> Queen! Amazing! <gasps> oh, she's been trained! Oh my god! Yes! Have a nice nap! Oh, she's so cute! Rewind! Hello? Hello? Rewind! 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 There's literally a kid there who can rewind stuff. Rewind? Thank send you. Us back. Yeah, you took way too long. He can only do a couple seconds. So they're just leaving the security guards in there with the aliens. That is savage. Are you insane? How are we supposed to get up there? Stretchy okay, hand. You made furniture float. Okay, that's also an option. I feel like stretchy guy could just like pick them up and stretch them up there. Okay, that's lifting them. But it's not lifting the rest. Oh, they're gonna use- okay, use them as stairs. See, there's just- the, the logic in this. Okay, so her singing made all of the adults be lifted, but none of the kids? Make it make sense. Oh my god! Since when can her eyes glow, too? It's cool, but that hasn't happened yet, so that's kind of out of nowhere. Oh my god, kid, you are so brave. This is nerve-wracking. Oh my god, Captain America who? Got something. It's weak. I feel like at this moment, like, yeah, the kids are important, but they should not... They need to focus on defeating the aliens. If anyone is gonna save the world, it's you. I guess, since there's no other superheroes, apparently. Super lame powers. Speak for yourself. Half of y'all's powers are pretty much the same as your kids. I mean, your parents, so... Oh wow, that's cool. Oh my god, and suddenly you can do stuff like Sharkboy could in the first movie. How did they get out of the room with the aliens? How is that even possible? Queen, she did so well. Somehow I knew that this movie would take advantage of this song. So is something gonna happen to get slow-mo out of like the time warp thing he's in? Like, something needs to happen to make it so he's, like, actually, like, quick or fast like he's supposed to be? I don't know. Or is he just always gonna be like that? Okay, okay, here we go. This is what I was waiting for. I just want to see the adults. Oh my god. I, I loved that. Why don't you cheer us up by singing one of those little songs you sing so well, Shark Boy? <gasps> Man, you got some fish to fry. Oh my god. Did he just reference... D the dream, 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 dream song? I can't believe they referenced it. I can't believe it. And I also, I, I kind of expected that since they don't have Taylor Lautner, they would do this and we are like, Sharkboy just like, doesn't speak. Because it makes it more obvious if he speaks that it's not Taylor Lautner. But like, I'm still enjoying it. It's just, oh, the possibilities if they'd gotten Taylor Lautner. He's literally, he's not doing much in the acting world right now. What kept him away from this movie? What kept him away? Was he, was he or his agents expecting to get paid a bajillion dollars since he was in Twilight? It's like, excuse me, it is an honor to be Shark Boy again. That was one of your highlights of your career besides Twilight. And, like, how dare you not give the fans, all of the people between the ages of like 15 and 25 who really know that movie and really have fond or at least nostalgic memories of that movie, how dare you not give us this follow-up to Shark Boy that we all maybe want, at least I want, I don't know about the rest of my generation, but like, I've been wanting this. I've been wanting Shark more Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Like, I didn't know I wanted it, but then when I saw that we were getting it, I was like, I this is what I've always needed in my life. So the thought that just ta that Taylor Lautner would decide, no, I'm not gonna give it to them, it's like, how dare? It, I really hope it, at least it was maybe just something like where his agents were offering too much money or there, there was something there. I really hope it wasn't him himself where he was like, no. I don't know though. We, we'll never know. We'll never know unless Shark, uh, not Shark Boy, unless Taylor Lautner does some movie or some TV show where he's going to do press and then they ask him about it. Queen. Camera. <laughs> Dark in here. Oh. There's literally lights lighting the whole tunnel. Visitors, 
Quantum Lemony? What? Did the aliens shapeshift into humans at first, making her think it was just regular humans? Don't we need superhero costume? <gasps> yes! Priorities. See, Guppy is thinking of all the priorities. Why does she have to hide the plan from everyone else? <laughs> this is hilarious. Cut it out. Run. They know that he's- that's his speed. Literally, like, Noodle Man. Like, twist, like, stretch out and grab him. <laughs> she's- she's singing the, the like, slow-mo training music or whatever. I love that. There we go, see? That's what I'm saying. Could have done that from the beginning. Okay, there's no way you're gonna defeat aliens if that's your reaction to one tentacle. Yeah, y'all are not acting very heroic right now with all that screaming. See, Guppy knows how to do things. Guppy is the only one- only competent one here. My teeth are strong because my dad's a shark. Cute! <gasps> She's so cute! Oh my god. Well, that isn't good. They're breaking their own ship. So these aliens <gasps> are controlled by the president. Ever wonder why we bother with all this? She already knows how it's going to turn out. So are they in on it? How are they easily just in the ship like that? Am I really not understanding a kid's movie right now? <gasps> oh my god, they're here. How did everyone just so easily get on this ship? Looks like we underestimated your abilities and your leadership. I don't trust her. Maybe these are the aliens. Are these the aliens? Vital signs are all over the place. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I called that. I called that. I was like, this isn't what's happening right now. Well, great. Our last little chance of heroes are all now also captured. Are they going to put in the same room as their parents? Because then maybe they can all break out together. Oh no, they're given their own room. They're too powerful together. They're just gonna move her over? She could easily walk back over. <laughs> my stomach hurts. My arm hurts. My ears hurt. Everything hurts. We're never getting out of here. And we're certainly never seeing our parents again. That's for sure. Is she trying to make them all angry enough that they all go ham with their powers? Is she trying to make... Guppy go into like a shark craze? <gasps> Water! They're, she, they're trying to make them all cry so that... I guess... I guess salt water will help Guppy? Oh my god. <laughs> that is kind of... Kind of gross, but you know, it's okay. Is she forming the key? Oh my god, she's a genius. That reminded me of like the ice girl in Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Remember the one who was like at the ice castle? Man, should I watch Sharkboy and Lava Girl on this channel, guys? Comment down below if you want me to watch Sharkboy and Lava Girl because that movie is iconic. And it's been a long time since I've watched it. L years. I watched it like three million times when I was younger, and but then I haven't watched it for probably seven or eight years. It's just so weird how it's like, we got Sharkboy and Lava Girl here and they're just kind of there. It's like we haven't gotten much of them, but they're still here. It's not like they're not like not in the scene. It's like they're in the scene, but then they're just kind of all standing there, useless. It's just interesting how they're, they're not putting as much of a focus on Sharkboy and Lava Girl as I feel like they sh would have, should have. I don't know. Where are we going? To save the parents, catch up. <laughs> so she wasn't singing anymore. Yet the ones behind her were still acting like their ears were hurt. They need to. She needs to consistently sing. She's not singing anymore, and they're all still acting like their ears are hurt. Who did this? Why is she standing? I did. What? What? No. Plot twist and she's an alien too? Are you in the ship's control room yet? I sure am. Just like we planned, old buddy. Queen, okay. We love a plan. It's the guy who can make himself look like other people. Amazing. Okay, there we go. Love that. That was good. I loved that. Oh my god, what? Since when can she have drawings come out of the of the drawing things come out of her drawings that's new yes queen oh my god she's so cool this is too much stress i can't take it <laughs> come on i need more from sharkboy and lava girl they're just so normal right now i'm getting more action from guppy 
Man, the the adults are really getting like a full on like camera shot by shot view of this. It's hilarious. Oh my god, she's gonna ride the shark. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> she's just so cute. Yes. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, with her little arm up. I love that. Go, go, go. <laughs> I can't take Shark Boy. I can't take him. He's so strained. Oh yeah, I forgot. She could just draw more of them. So she's making herself fly, but she isn't using her low voice. I oh my god, musical number, please. I will be king. Oh my god. And you They're really singing this song again. You and she will be free. <laughs> it sounds amazing, but like, wow. No, nothing could tear us apart. Oh my god, the drama. Oh my god. I can't get over how ridiculous this is. So the singing, the, the powerful singing girl, the child, is literally just doing it for dramatic effect. She's not singing for any, any help. So how is this gonna work? How is this gonna work? Okay. Monsters are falling. So is she just, oh, he's gonna rewind? Okay, there we go. Honestly, he could have picked her up a lot sooner. That was very dramatic. Yeah, she really just sang up there floating for dramatic effect. And somehow she was able to fly without using her extremely low voice. Yeah, she could just still keep spawning out monsters. Like, you need to defeat her. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, you have a noodle arm. Just keep going. Oh, it's gonna like run- you're gonna run out of- yep. Yep. Okay, someone climb down it, grab it, and then she jump back up and no get it. Ever survive that fall. It's I not fall, you- can. you slide down his arm like a pole. Oh, he's just going for it, alright. Somehow that just worked, okay. King! Takeover is happening. Okay, so rewind, rewind a couple seconds and do it again and do it a little quicker that time. <gasps> oh, that's cool. That reminds me of the scene in Avengers Endgame when all of the snapped uh, superheroes like come out of the portals. Why did that just remind me of that? Oh, they're all doing their superhero poses. Love that. Our parents were in the pyramid all along? We c I could have guessed that. What? You're kidding. The takeover of power from your parents. N you see, the next and you children are inheriting Earth's problems and need to be able to fix them. This is really interesting. Can we count on you to not just help save your planet, but the entire galaxy? That's a lot of pressure. When you need us, we'll be there. It's literally been like five hours. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> That's so cute! Oh, Oh, that is so cute. I'm so very proud of you. <laughs> Why did they look at the camera? I did not call that this would happen at all. The aliens actually being, like, good and this being what happened? This is interesting. Oh, they have costumes! Oh, uh, what are we supposed to be looking at? The future. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Okay. Okay. That was it. That's it. That was a movie. That was a movie. Wow, I need a palette cleanser? After that, here we go. This is what I need. Oh my god, it's so weird I, just seeing her as an adult. Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream and get us out. Dream, 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 dream. Hit the hay, fast asleep, dream a dream, you little bleed. Dream, 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 dream. dream. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Yes.
Here we go. Flip, flip. Dream, 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 dream. There's darkness everywhere. I love this movie so much, guys. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all for that. Okay. Um, all right. On to what I thought of We Can Be Heroes. That was a movie. I thought it was cute. Definitely a cute kids movie. Shark Boy and Lava Girl was obviously way more iconic, in my opinion. But you know, maybe all the four and five and six year olds out there who watched this movie loved it. And this will be their iconic nostalgic movie that 16 years from now they will love, you know? I don't know. Yeah, okay. So what we got of Shark Boy and Lava Girl was like, it wasn't a cameo like I was thinking it could be, where it's like, oh, just one iconic scene and that's it. But it also then wasn't the other side that I thought could possibly be where it's like they're actually really involved and really in it. It was like in between where like all the superheroes, they were like in it a little bit. And then they were in, they were in maybe like four or five ish scenes. It was primarily the kids, which you know, I gathered, but I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. It was, it was good. It was fine. It was a decent kids family movie. I just, I don't know. I think my main takeaway is that I'm just angry they couldn't get Taylor Lautner for the movie. They they could have done so much more with Shark Boy if we actually had Taylor Lautner. Lautner. We could have like, I don't know, we could have had maybe a uh, reprise of the dream, 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 dream song, you know? It's weird seeing Lava Girl as an adult, especially after just watching the the dream song from the first movie, seeing her so young back in like 2004 when they filmed the movie or whatever. And then now seeing her and she's like, what, in her 30s? Possibly? Mid, mid-ish 30s? I don't really know. I can't remember what age she would be. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, early 30s? I don't know, time's weird. Anyways, the girl who played Guppy, who was in Bird Box, she was adorable, like how she was in Bird Box. Um, it's gonna be weird if she continues to act seeing her grow up, because it's like, she's so cute at the age she's at now. It's like, when will how will her cuteness evolve? Cause like, it seems like she's been in two things now. She's been in Bird Box and she's been in this. And in both things, kind of her token thing is just being adorable. It's like they really ride on how cute she is. These um, film directors and these like the creators of these movies, they really ride on her just being adorable the whole time um, and doing cute stuff. So like, how is that gonna evolve as she ages? It's gonna be interesting. The rest of the kids were cute. If I had to pick my favorites of like the super powered kids, like based off of their power, I would have to say Wild Card. Once he like figured everything out near the end, he was cool, he was great. I also loved Reverse and Fast Forward, I think was the girl's name. They were cool. Um, Slow-mo was funny. I wouldn't say he was one of my favorites based on his power because his power is just kind of weird, but he was funny. Um, I liked him being in slow motion. The singing girl was cool, even though sometimes some of her scenes where she was supposed to be consistently singing were a little off. All of a sudden you'd see in the background and she wouldn't be singing anymore, but everyone around her would still be acting like she's singing, you know? Or at least the music would cut in, making it so you can't hear her singing, which makes it all kind of weird and confusing. Um, but overall, her, her power and her mom's power, they I just love, their voices were great. I loved their voices. So that was enjoyable to hear. I think that's about it. The others, I mean, the, the noodle arms, he was cool. Noodles, he was cool. Reminded me of Elastigirl from The Incredibles. That's pretty much it. Gets a, gets a thumbs up from me. Not two thumbs ups though, because um, no Taylor Lautner. So I, as I knew, out going in, but I was thinking, you know, there was a slight chance they could have just surprised us with him, fooled us with that, like, uh, promo image, and then as soon as everyone tunes in, oh my god, Taylor Lautner, you never know. There was, like, a 2% chance. Uh, guess not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to follow me on social media. My Instagram is at Rachel Rimini, my Twitter is at Rachel underscore Rimini, and my letterbox where I talk about all things movies all the time is just my name, Rachel Rimini. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye! Over meadows, inside sprung grass.